What is up? Crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers, I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and those are the baddies that we're running today on the range. Let's check it out. All right, so here is our baddie lineup in reverse order. Check them out. Goldilocks went 3S Ripper. This is what happens uh, with the old cage when you bash the crap out of it. So, holding up, dude. All right, showing the course off in reverse order. There's 15, there's 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, start. All right, here we go. Cliff up first, full send, biggest wheels. We are running the old HD rails with the mag mounts. I changed those out. They're uh, these are a little different. These are the ones you added the sliders onto. Now they just come that way. So, but we are running Lizard Pro 3S. Uh, it's actually the motor out of the CR18P. It's the Hobby Plus motor. They're great. It's the same uh, as uh, like the Barrage. There's a bunch of motors sold that that's the motor that it is. It's a good motor. Not super fast. It just it's a good motor. Nice and smooth startup. Anyway, here we go scale there we go coming in at 323 59 oh there we go 60 40 should be balanced left to right if i mess with the scales uh but looking good 329 60 40 let's go all right here we go cliff tastic show us how it's done we're gonna try this little inside route here these tires do not like this range very much at any spin if you hold them good I just washed them. I had to restart because we were slipping everywhere. They're brand new, like pretty much. Haven't been run. If they got broke in, they'd be better. If they were on maybe a regular or wheel, they might be better. Just on the Slaymo wheels or any other regular 1.0. Great job, dude. Now, I don't know that he can get this guy. We're going to try it and hang on. All right, so I think the gear mesh in this thing is a little bit too tight, which is the problem why it's a little jumpy here. Uh, it should be a lot smoother. The Hobby Plus motor is very much better. Uh, I did a lot of talking in this. Come on, dude, don't let go. So I will narrate after this run, most likely. Don't let go. Oh, don't let go. If he lets go, we slip to the bottom, so. Good. Two for two, let's go. All right, so right here, just trying to hustle up there. I uh, ran the no, driver tire up too, too far, missed it. I could not wiggle yeah, down yeah. and fall to the right side. Uh, had to go for another reverse. One of those things, uh, it's good to speed up and save time. At the same time, if you don't hit your line, did it save you any Easy time? Gig. No. But I just did a, made an error, dude. Heck on. It's going to cost me a game. All right, so this turn down is super crucial. In playing, I would probably turn down earlier in this. You're just worried that you're gonna slide or flip or whatever. So took it out a little bit too far, cost me a reverse. And then right here, the rear uh -oh, driver is up on the deal. This car is narrow enough to uh, uh, to fall down, but the wider cars, if you don't watch out, they will swing that rear end around I don't know. and tag the far I don't game. I think it's worth it. Try well, to get a turn around here. Reverse anyways, dang it. Didn't help me. And the range is getting wet. Oh no. There we go, dude. Great job. Pulling up. Gotta keep these tires hella slow. Don't let them let go. So I know I said it, but these tires I think will be good. It's just in this setup, not the best. A little too hard. Uh, the foams need to be broken. The tires need to be broken. Oh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Heck yeah, dude, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna try and turn this guy right in there. Might cost us a reverse. No, rain, go away. 
might cost us a reverse. Dad gum it. Or a rollover. Oh, or none. Heck yeah. All right, I really had not tried that move in the previous uh, attempts. And so what I would have needed to do is to try to get my rear end to kind of fall off Ray's the ledge and kind of belly out and slide around. Uh, definitely could do that with practice. Hopefully we can get this run, this run done. And these tires seem to do okay so long as you don't let the lugs slip. Right here, just need to turn up to the driver's side. Oh, I shouldn't have turned back so soon. My bad, dude. My bad. It's just a little slippy, the, the setup, you know, like it just isn't quite what it needs to be. Uh, just put in the trenchers uh, or even, again, just, just putting these on a regular, on the sleigh mows would be awesome. It would make them wide. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I'll have to do that. We'll have to, we will do that and make another run. How about that? I will come back. Uh, how about, look, I'll go through these and I'll see if there was anything that I could change on the rigs uh, to make them run better. Maybe no. I'll do a round two. Oh. Uh, Dang it. My bad, dude. Freaking flip over, dude. Rip till you flip, dude. That was just my bad. Crappy driving at the same time. This is so freaking hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I had this all done like I had a, another course set up I spent like all day I been, spent Thursday setting it up to finish this run. I worked on Friday yeah. to try to Make run gates reverse. I changed everything I was ready I thought I had Did it I started to pull the trigger on the first one and it just I couldn't get gate two bro like I had to change it you know or gate three maybe it was uh, just it, all the rigs could do it but I just could not do it when I got the camera I just I'm out of position on all of this uh, you know, I have to, I'll have to run a head cam so I can show you, dude, that I can do all this crap <laughs> for really reals when I'm not, not, you know, crouching and out of position. You know, I really can drive this up for real, dude. Yo, great job, dude. Let's go, man. I sure do hope you guys are having a great freaking weekend. Uh, this is a super duper long video. Um, Let's go, click. it's just fun. I wanted to just show off the different, Here's another one. I don't know if he's going to like it, dude. Sorry, just wanted to show off the different setups here so that every you know, you can just see what 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 works, you know, like uh, these are a lot of different setups. We have a little bit of uh, variety in our weight bias. I am definitely liking the forward weight bias uh, so long, like you know, with some of these, uh, you really have to be careful when it's so light and so off hold balance on, dude. Hold on. to the front, you know, so, uh, it, but if you're careful, dude, it's uh, freaking rad. The biggest thing with this yeah. rig, uh, so you have two things actually, the tires, and then um, for whatever reason, I think it's like I said, the gear mesh. Uh, it's uh, probably a little too tight, making a you know. Um, also, this body, for whatever reason, the connection to the chassis really makes it like a microphone. When you take it off, it doesn't actually sound that bad. Again, another uh, one. It doesn't sound so gritty. It's, not really tall uh, it's just like the body is like magnifying the we'll sound. Come so. On, buddy. Um, I know I'm talking over myself there. Dang it. Oh, uh, let's go. Sorry for that. I got to watch the uh, bar. I can't hear this, so. Uh-oh. That was my bad. Oh, what a fight, dude. These little guys don't like this line. I need to go to the I left. I found this line with the 18P. Come on. Uh, and even it struggled with this line. I think it's super funny that I just called it this guy a little guy. Um, oh, look at, look at. so freaking good, dude. Oh, my you God. You can't see the angle on that right there. It is so good, bro. Dude, so it's freaking really good. Coming down. It's really oh, my coming God. Down. All right, so I called this a little guy. It's like the length of a stock gladiator, so not really a little guy. It's just with the tires. Uh, just the tires. It's quite a bit set up smaller than the other rigs, even though it may be the same length, not quite as wide, oh. dang it, needed to be higher right there, uh, and then not turned down before it went through the gate, so, this one right here, I did try at the end, a new maneuver, and I needed to try it with all of them, it would be super hard, that is a super steep on the right hand side, uh, but transition, instead of going down, uh, which you can't make the turn back up, because your tires push, uh, <clears throat> so, but I hung on the ledge all the way across, uh, in one of the runs, I think it was with Black Doug, maybe? I don't remember which one it was. Um, you'll have to stay tuned for that. But, uh, 
Yeah, I gotta try that with all of them. It may it may save me the reverse or two. Oh, yeah, Plus, it sets you up uh, in a better position to clear this. This is right now. What's happening is the rear diff. It's like basically so diffed out in the rear, so the rear has no push. Oh, trying to go you. over a hump, uh, absolutely terrible. So. Definitely not the best setup going into that turn. Uh, some of the rigs handle it way, way better than others. A uh, big part of this one is this the tires just around. not gripping quite like I want them to. The last gate, come on, dude. Not quite the best setup. Still, this thing's a monster, dude. Little baby oh, monster. Oh, gate. Gosh, oh dude. God, and if man. you call the gate, gate, dude. Freaking A. Oh, but this is the lip right here. This is the ledge I was talking about. I hung on this all the way to that gate coming through. Oh, what is it? Uh, oh, this is going to be freaking. This is going to suck. Or whatever. The this yellow is not ones a right good there. idea. And this was totally my bad. I don't know why I just kept pushing. I should have backed up. But what I needed to have happen right there was for it to pivot okay. on the belly. Just Told absolutely you, stupid. I just was tired of this run. It's first one, and I was just like, okay, we got to get through it, dude. That was part of the problem the other day is, like, I was struggling with the first cars, right? They're not quite as tough, and so it just hella struggled. So I kept restarting, and I was like, you know what, dude? We're just going to get through right, this. <laughs> it's going to hit some gates, bro, and we're just going to do it. I could do it all clean, right? Again, I could do it clean with no camera. Please. All right, here we go. Red Bolt coming up number two. Also running the same thing as Cliff uh, Enjura Pro. This one's running Overdrive. This is the Hobby Plus Electronics uh, and an Enjura Servo. So we do have 43s in the back, 40s in the front. Uh, I didn't say it, but we were running just stock shocks on the other truck. There we go. There is the scale 360. We got 63% to the front. Looking pretty freaking good, dude. Let's go. All right, here we go, Red Bull. Man, we let the range dry off and it's getting darker, dude. It's darker than it was earlier, so a little scary. Hope we can get this run in. As you can see, the trenchers obviously like the range way more than the swampers, but whoo. I bet you if those swampers get broken, they're gonna be a great tire. It just might take 20 packs. And again, they're probably going to do better on the Slaymo wheel. Dude, look at this thing go. All right, so I didn't set up gate one and two uh, very well, but uh, this the setup is so good that we cleared it no problem. Again, right here, angle just sets me to where I'm bellying out, where I should not be bellying uh, normally. Now, with this weight bias and the light rear end, you really have to be careful. Woo! See stuff like that. Another reverse, and this is in a treacherous spot. Let's keep going. I need that rear end to come out. Yep, just like that. There we go. If not, it's gonna fall into the far side gate. That's the injure. Ooh, that's the injure approach. We're gonna. I'm not gonna mess with the reverse. That's one thing with the injure pro. When you run overdrive, if you watch like right there, like the, the startup on the downhill is really rough. It does go very slow, but it's one of those things if you stop, uh oh, while going uphill, it could be bad. Wow, wow. That was a great freaking comeback, dude. It slipped, I missed it. All right, we fixed the gate. Then we're gonna run this thing all the way down, try to avoid the reverse. Try to avoid flipping over right here. Done swinging out. Looking good. These tires just love the freaking range, dude. Good. See, watch right here. Start up. Oh, it's just scary, dude. It's just freaking scary. Don't stop. Oh, don't stop. I'm letting off just so lightly. Ah.
you can hear the thunder in the background the rain we were off and on all day just a little bit of water and i had to wait uh and then for it to dry out so that way it would be fair still looking good dude it's this these trenches are... back up on there dude come on the driver tire nope well hold on nope this is one that i didn't make in a single uh run uh couldn't make the turn up right Damn here it. nice freaking save dude uh but yeah with proper setup some of the rigs can make that turn around right there but you had to be thoughtful coming from the other gate and uh you know i didn't really practice it a hundred times before uh -oh. i actually that was one of the gates that got changed First, uh on the reboot slow down no my bad roll over jeez just had to make it easier plus on the other side i had so many side hills they were basically the same type of maneuver uh the two that are over there now are not the same similar but not the same Nice job. Ooh, such an easy pull up. So great, Bring dude. Back around. Coming around. So what should actually happen here is it should go down farther off to the left side uh, and catch a tire, come all the way off the hill. Uh, I should be on the other side mm. of that little hump there. And you can catch a tire, come back up and around. Uh, but again, I did not practice it enough times to remember as I drove around the course. I always forget as you're driving, right, dude, it's freaking on. hard uh, to drive and film and you know, you whatever look pretty on, buddy. excuses bro excuses look at those oh trenches. it's pushed uh, up so good so right there you can get the pinch and run the down. tire yeah, up uh if you're in position to the get that front passenger the tire up on that deal finally, get a little bit a little better bit pinch late. right there uh and come around so i didn't really uh -huh. get that uh with either of the first two rigs um i don't know that i got it i think i only got it ah! one time actually. So got good. the pinch uh, <laughs> and pulled up so pretty. That is so dope, dude. Oh, my God. Sorry, I was talking over myself. Oh, and look at the camera. Dude, that's a camera reverse right there. Dang, gum it. No idea what I'm saying at this point, but I really got to not talk over myself. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. I don't want to make it confusing. In these first few runs, I had a lot more talking going on. Later on, I not so much. Can you make the turn up? I don't think so. All right, so same thing. I did not uh, do the cool trick. No turnaround. Had a reverse. So this one is possible. I just I was scared to do it. Uh, it needs to turn up earlier, right at the edge of that that gate is where it needs to turn up. Uh, and you can pull up through. There's a little place, but instead I'm a little far, and now I'm bellied out where my you know left side should be. My driver's side should be where my belly is not good so we still got a nice pull up uh this thing again uh, having such a so forward nasty, weight bias that go. it can really drag the belly and 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 that's the thing is it really drags the belly over when you have good grip tires all right here we go slayer pro crevice scx24 coming in 329 61 39 super ultra lightweight rig hobby plus electronics Oh no, sorry. Those are the FMS FCX24 electronics. You can tell by the push button. Same thing as the other ones though. We are running a Reefs 99 in the front uh, and then just Slaymo wheels. Just We got a little bit of brass in the front. We are running the six mil hubs in the front and plastic hubs in the back. All right, here we go. Red Bolt, or no, sorry, Crevice. Starting to sprinkle again, dude. Easy. Too easy, guy. All right, so the pins love the range, especially when they're clean. The range is freshly cleaned from the rain, so they hook up super duper well. This is the uh, cleanest run of the day, I'm pretty sure. Don't mess your line. Really, really good. Uh, this rig for gates is probably the best setup of okay. all of them um probably the best setup uh it's a little touchy on the downhill could be a little bit the game. come on bud Woo. but that's the combination of the endura pro with overdrive so if you did go to a fear tech you should over. be able to smooth that out a little bit maybe come a dinky over. uh 
and slow that down just a little bit. Uh, but it is still uh, manageable. Um, definitely has plenty of wheel speed. At the bottom. So if you like that kind of thing. Great job, dude. That's where that overdrive definitely comes in handy. This pull up right here is just about being in the right position, hooking the driver's side tire and pivoting over. There's a little lip that your passenger tire has to go can up it and do over. It, it's the, can I do it inside that gate? Sorry, dude. I'm trying, I'm trying. I think we're clear. We got it. Clean, bro. You will see from here, the other rigs uh, are good. Uh, but being so wide, it definitely can be hurtful uh, running gates. These gates are all pretty wide. I uh, wasn't really concerned about the width. Of... It's going to go down. This one doesn't like the cool trick here. So we're just going to go down. See if we can push right back up. Come on, buddy. All right, so I really wasn't concerned about the width of the gate near as much uh, as a narrow thing. Everything, I wanted to make sure that all of the rigs could do it. So uh, that's the thing is I had a variety of rigs and I wanted to make sure that each one could hit a line through there. So it was more important uh, that a rig could make it easy. than it's too easy, bro. some crazy freaking it's too easy, buddy. tight gate. So, and when I'm running, dude, it's so hard. You see, I, I hit other, I hit gates with the wide rigs or whatever, uh, you know, just again, but it's the angles, you know, so it's hard enough to run this freaking terrain and film, dude. Well, it's okay. What a pretty line, dude. Obviously, this rig was made for this place. Dang, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh. Dang it, my bad. We saved it, though. We on wheels, but that was my bad, was bad driving. It, this thing is actually super duper touchy. So you guys have to be very, very gentle because it gives you exactly what you want. Uh, it's like, again, precision, performance, amazing. No. Again, more reverses, dude. Dang, no, I, mean, I, I thought I was going to get this. No, no way. Just didn't quite get it, bro. Very cool. Very good, dude. Very good. Let's go, Crab. It's hard, dude. I want to put energy into this, but every time I get excited, I'm already talking. <laughs> oh, it's a little different, dude. I need to. I like to, to not talk when I film uh, or when it's just buddies and I can just turn it down. So, But I ended up talking so much at the beginning. I don't know why I was talking so much. I just got excited. And, uh, you know, it's a cool thing to try to talk uh, through, but... It's too hard to do and run oh, gates, buddy. man. Heck yeah. You lost it on that one. It almost came, almost came off, dude. All right, you can see my hesitation right here. I want to go to the outside. It's the line that I'm supposed to be, but I'm in terrible position uh, to even use that line. And so I just had to go down off the hill again. So, but it is potentially possible to come and swing down through there and not have to reverse. If you are a smart driver and not uh, shooting a video. All right, so this push up right here is so freaking good. Gotta be tall enough to ride the ride. I missed it right there a little bit, but we have the belly clearance on this one, so it's not really a problem. Push it up. Oh, dude. It's not the greatest angle on that to be able to show off how crazy it is at the top really pushing almost 90 degree on that front axle so obviously you could probably go faster through this but at the same time with this rig it will it will change lines it will bounce it will do things if you're not careful uh just again being so do super duper light it does not uh, save itself like some of the bigger rigs that are set up like doug uh or like the gladiator like it'll just run over stuff but then to get it to run gates isn't really really hard um you know so you know there's like compromise so one is incredibly stable it will do anything you want to do don't have to hardly pay attention and it just goes up or over or sideways or whatever you want it to do bro uh you know doug or uh, the, big, on, again, the big gator so we just missed the line again right here we're diffed out in the rear end 
Let's see what we can do. I don't remember what happens. Do I flip over? Hmm. I know right there uh, in practice, if in throttle too much, it would launch over to the side and, and launch into the gate. So I was being really, really careful on my right turn with the throttle. Not good, dude. I had a clean, ooh, nice see the army bro. crawl and the transition? You have to nice. do that just Good right or you lose bro. it. That's one of those things, again, where brushless is almost uh, makes it harder to do that. Uh, that's why I love the brushed feel. Got to have the feel, dude. Let's go. Great run. Great run. Clean all, right. all the way. I was talking about my camera guy. angle. All right, here we go. Next up, Goldilocks. You can see Goldilocks has been beaten up. Oh my gosh. I've been having a great time with the old 3S, ripping this sucker around, let plenty of other people drive it, flip it over, bash it off the top of the range. But this is what happens when you, you know, don't treat it well. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is also why we redesigned it. If this is still happening, we're gonna have to go for some more corrections, but always dude, smash a $5 and we'll get you a new one, no problemo. So there's the weight 383 coming in 6139. All we have here is the brass Hobby Plus weight. Uh, I guess they're the extensions, hub extensions or something like that. They're like plus two or they're not too much, three millimeters maybe but uh they do have a good weight to them so that's the only brass that we do have on the ride all right so i totally debated whether i was going to change out this cage or uh just not show off goldilocks and uh, i decided to put it in here dude you know what dude these stuff this stuff does break bro it's i'm not trying there's nothing to hide it's plastic and uh you know it does break so this thing took hell of abuse to get here by the way so and this is also why i redesigned the cage right why well, i went a little bit thicker and uh again if it still happens then we'll get it taken care of dude i will fix it and uh you know we just don't want to add too much plastic then we have Got to. the top one <laughs> that was hella pump, clean but dude. we did hit the top gate dadgummit that's the only way this thing wants to go through just being so wide and so low uh it does awesome tricks but you know super duper belly you had to really think about uh, a rig like this being so low and so wide uh, you know, just as far as where you put the belly when you run gates. When you're just playing, dude, it's, you know, flipping it over is really hard. Uh, but when, uh, you know, when you're running gates, it may not be where you want. It may belly out uh, when you don't want it to uh, and uh, be kind of hard to drive, you know. So advice, uh, don't film and drive and uh, just go play. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude. But this thing is an absolute monster. The only overdrive we are getting is from the tire setup, if you have watched that. And uh, so this is the Samix Motor 3S Dinky. Um, and this has got to be... <sighs> so if you are looking for wheel speed and slow crawl, this setup is amazing. I have been absolutely loving it. Uh, you see again the performance of the red buggy uh, that thing is like choice however it's really really touchy where when you go to the 18p on the uh the 18p trans got it dead coming dude freaking a oh, so good so if you go to the 18p trans on the 18p axles or the fcx 24 axles uh you know, it, it's absolutely it? phenomenal, oh dude. Um, oh I love, you'll see Black Doug. Here. Sorry, talking over myself again. You'll see Black Doug coming up, running the, just the 18P yeah, the motor. It's not falling off like it's supposed to. Dang it. That's what you get, Goldilocks. Yeah, guys. You see, we got plenty of spice, dude. But that's how the top broke. If you'd believe it, dude, that's how we broke the top. By trying that right there. I got the trick. I can do it when you guys aren't watching. Freaking A, stop watching me and I can do it. All of a sudden I got hella talkative, dude. Uh, so good. Look at that rip at the top. Oh my gosh, dude. So you'll see Black Duck uh, running just the 18P motor on, 18, on the FCX 24 axles. And the thing is like almost brushless slow. It's so freaking smooth, so good. So this is almost there, not quite as smooth, not quite uh, 
as uh, butter on the bottom. However, it's got super torque and you can see that it's super duper snappy. So it's one of those things like, uh, you know, to run this, by the way, I still need to make the motor half of the transmission for the 18P unless you want to drill holes to run the Sanix. Oh, keep it going. Ah! And that would go pretty much for all of the upgrade motors running on the 18P transmission. Nope. Didn't get it, dude. But we will get that. Uh, we'll get that made here. It's something that I really, really want to make, just so we can run uh, the other motors on the 18P transmission. Oh, uh, that's because scary. it is a killer, killer Can't setup. Go with two reverses. F. I know that the 18P is seen definitely as even more budget than uh, some of the other builds, but dude, it is a baller, bro. Freaking killer. Uh, you know. I cannot wait to keep showing this off. I love this rig. I know that it's set up super duper wide. It does not have to be this way, but Nobody. it's so fun to play with like this. Just maybe not the best setup for gates. Uh, definitely could be a little bit narrower, uh, but you know, we're not running any brass. Super duper lightweight for a oh, big, I got big the gate. buggy. Are you kidding and me, bro? Uh, just absolutely <laughs> dreams to play with. And uh, so we get the top worked That's off, worked out, shot, and uh, this is gonna be an awesome angle. bouncer. Dude. Hey, we will show off some cool jumping, uh, hey, some cool tricks it. with uh -huh. the 18P uh, Goldilocks. And stay tuned, we will be doing a full 18P build uh, whenever I can get my own prints parted, or, <laughs> parts printed, dude. parts, whatever, dude. <laughs> What do you do? Whenever I can get my own stuff but made, I dude, then I will show it off for you. <laughs> but right now we have to uh, get parts made for you guys. Oh, I can't. Dude, nice rollover, by the way. <laughs> this one doesn't quite reach. Yo, there it is. Good job, bud. Oh, and another gate. We have like 82 gates, bro. Look at this. Look at this. So this is the wall. This is what I've been pushing up on. That one pushed up a little higher, dude. Oh my gosh. So freaking good. This thing is so amazing. So by the way, this was actually my last run. Uh, when I had run it earlier in the day, uh, I ended up running out of battery. Um, kind of a weird thing, by the way. Uh, these dinkies that I got, uh, you have to actually wear the battery down for them to actually even work. I don't know what's going on. Have not heard back from them. Uh, gave them plenty of time to uh, get back to me, and they did not get back to me all week. So kind of a bummer. Super awesome. Love the ESCs. There's just got to be some sort of programming issue, uh, cut off or whatever. Ah, that's so good, dude. Ah, uh, that's so good. This is why I don't like gates, dude. I always hit hella gates, but. We always eat gnarly stuff in the middle. All right, next up we have Black Doug running Slamo wheels, FCX 24 build, running the weighted steering link. That's the only weight. Oh, we have brass outers and inner portal covers in the front and the outers in the rear. So that's the only brass that we do have on it, running the CR18P motor and transmission with the HD gears, with the Dinky on 3S Spectrum running on the bow mount. I just cut the deal on this one and uh, we'll see about making other battery bow mounts. There you go. Coming in at 451, 6535, or you move it around 64, Whatever it is, dude. 6535. It's a little heavy in the front. Let's see how it runs. Black Doug, here we go. Let's see about this one. Black Doug, here we go, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy is a freaking beast. We we're running the extended links. We we're running the 18P longer skid. Uh, wow, no overdrive, uh, no brass. Just the weighted steering link. Slay mo wheels, dude. These tires are breaking in so good. Do you see how well they hook up, bro? Like, obviously I'm bellied out, so we're spinning tire. But uh, hooks up so good. As far as just crawling, uh -oh. um, this has to be my favorite setup at this point, dude. Um, it That's just right, is man. so good. The SCX24, uh, the red buggy, job, is no question dude. the snappiest, uh, probably going to be the best for running gates. 
um, but for playing and wow. just enjoying slow crawl, uh, seeing what you can do, this guy right here is a monster. Absolute Scary. monster. You see the yeah. slow crawl? Well, that was my bad right there. Uh, I got hung up on the belly, no and overdrive. I just wasn't being patient. You need but, uh, to fall down. Slow crawl's amazing, dude. Like, you can make it go almost fuck you slow. Ooh. So basically, fuck you to brushless, and this is what I'm running, bro. It's uh, such a better feel. Uh, again, if you want wheel speed, then go to the Samix. Again, it has incredibly better feel than you'll see the Nano Bam at the end. Uh, the Nano Bam is super fast. Like the throttle up right there. But the Samix brushed on the 18P transmission is such a better feel, dude. It puts the power down so much better. Um, it it doesn't run down the hill. The Nano Bam wants to run down the hill. Uh, the Samix. Emi like it, it just absolute control again like Falk, uh, but it's even better than the uh, high KV Nano Bam. Again, you're asking for an incredible amount. We'll talk about it more when it comes up. But when you do run a Nano Bam or any of the brushless motors on an SCX24 transmission uh, on the FCX24 or CR18P or eventually Traxxas axles, which are be the fastest. <laughs> There these go, things buddy. uh you know you're asking an incredible amount the gear ratios are crazy for a slow torque right well, and so it torques out down. and uh down. whatever so but this setup doesn't torque out at all uh it is the opposite of torquing out Please. you know because you're putting a 104 to 1 ratio transmission no so you overdrive. are gearing down and spinning up that was my bad just freaking out dude uh just a uh, bad Please line bad line monster. Bad line, bad line. What you gonna do when a slayer comes for you? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> See, this is the cool stuff I could be doing, you know, if I wasn't talking in the background. Oh my gosh, dude. He just, this guy talked the whole time on the course and it wouldn't even let me narrate, entertain you guys, bro. This is way better, by the way, when I talk like this. It's way more fun for me, anyways. Maybe not quite as educational, but it's definitely more entertaining. And this late in the video, you definitely need some entertainment. Look at on, Black bro. Doug. Oh Clear. my gosh. The yeah, angle doesn't show off right there. Most rigs aren't going to come over and play on any of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you better bring a baddie if you think you're going to run any of these lines. I got to see if I can get someone to come over and make me look good. I don't have any other rigs set up to run right now. Everything is just a super baddie. So, uh, you know so well and then or it just is a shorty and it's not going to make some of these lines so not cool i although i did take out the really hard ones uh there's uh, only one is it gate yeah, four or five or whatever uh with this the climb shorties can do that but i don't know if they can do that with where the gates are you have to go up farther up the hill see again nobody made this dude everybody had to reverse everybody had to reverse I really like these gates, by the way. I thought that they were easy, you know, so again, to me, like, so if you count reverses, you know, I think this would be a good course for reverses. Um, you know, everybody probably should have had at least one or two on this course. There was a couple places where pretty much you have to. Uh, you know, you could have maybe tried to throw turnarounds, but those turnarounds are going to save you, are going to hurt you hell of in the time, you know. And then you may not even make it like you saw in the first one with the old Cliff Tastic. Uh, you know that you saw that I didn't even make the turnaround so uh, you end up getting a reverse anyways you know like so that's one of those things that reverses you know to me it's almost like a like a personal preference you know like don't reverse because it, you know it looks more pretty if you can make it clean uh, you know but at the same time like if you know I don't know dude whatever dude whatever to each their own, I guess. This is what you were supposed to do the whole time. This is the move, the maneuver. Great job, Black Doug, for remembering. It's what, my 82 second run? I don't know. So many runs, dude. Ugh, ah. See, finally I did it. Am I going to make the pull up right here? Let's I forget. Go. Uh, did we finally get one, dude? We finally got one. Oh my gosh, Black Doug. Great job. Gate. What the but this gate is actually kind of hard for such a wide rig. That's terrible. Doug dude. is super duper wide. No Very question gross. about it. But that's the axles. The axles are huge. And then the sleigh mo wheels that's flipped. So, uh, by the way, the sleigh mo wheels will not run 
flipped God. inwards uh, on the FCX24, probably not the 18P. Oh, God, gate. the gate. That's what happens when you have a monster. <laughs> then we flipped out, dude. Awesome setup so for the next, so uh, big, the next gate, so fortunately. Uh, not much you can do up there. I could have tried to wiggle. I could have reversed. But we going forward. I wanted to see what happened. It's always fun to see if you can pull a flip off the old hill. So right here, Let's we also, this is the dude. one. This I is the new maneuver. Didn't try this with anybody ever. else. But I think most of them could do it. So savage, though. Like you, it's a savage turn up. I don't know if anybody else could do it. Uh, the gold buggy probably could, uh, but Let's go I don't this. know. Do we actually even make this? I don't know. If this is actually a good idea. Really See, then you now you're somewhere. pushing on the on there, so maybe the turn started oh. to need to be earlier. Yeah. So I don't know that this was actually a good deal because it's going to cost us a reverse anyways. Although this anyway. maneuver could oh, potentially man, be made to work tree? off the tree, if you could get it to swing the right way uh, and that your whole right side came off at the right timing, uh, you could, f you know, like swing it to the hill potentially. Uh, well, but right there, what was going to happen like that, if I kept going, my front uh, front end was going to come off, uh, wasn't going to be good. There was going to be no saving it flipping off the other side of the tree there. So, no bueno. Sorry, I was talking over myself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. See that rear tire, dude? See it go in that hole? Gosh! I don't think I can do anything without reversing. Is it going to go past? Oh, my gosh, dude. So good. I love you, Douglas. Ah. All right, here we go, Yater Max. This was just a wide pro with the sliders, old style chopped off, uh, beast mode or whatever. Can't get it any longer, at least for right now, but running Lizard Pro 3S Nano uh, Bam. Coming in for 445, 6436. Let's do it. All right, buddy, here we go. Now he hates this deal. Not a fair one here. I'm gonna try this. All right, seeing the electronics, I just had to say, most of this stuff is just thrown in here over and over again. I swap things and whatever. So some of the electronics builds are not the prettiest right now, but we'll get that all taken care of. Another one that this uh, first gate is uh, nearly impossible in the way that it's going. Uh, you know, if the other top gate was higher or whatever, or the top, the bottom gate was lower, we could make it. Push, bam. Uh, did we get this uh, one? Did we hit the top side. gate? Oh yeah, we totally hey, smashed hey, it. <laughs> and then we got the bottom one, dude. Oh my gosh. If you count both sides, we got both sides. Not good. He hates that gate. Don't get another one, buddy. So in my opinion, there's no need for this much wheel speed uh, on a crawler, right? If, if you want a bouncer, a trail rig, uh, you know, a uh, jumper. Don't get another one. All good, not Jeez, necessary. Burst. Two gates. Oh. And again, if you watch, it torques out all over the place. It runs down the but hill. See, this is, you know, freaking monster. People will think brushless is better and maybe an SMP. Running the overdrive. Come loose. Or maybe, uh, you know, a, a mini Komodo uh, would be better for this setup. Um, but, you know, to me, again, I don't like the feel of it. So the other other motors, you choose your one. Do you want to go uh, slow with enough uh, little, little jump to make it crawling possible? Uh, or do you want a little bit more kick to make jumping possible? Uh, running the 18P stock motor is rad. Uh, or the yeah, Samix motor for jumping. Uh, it's plenty, plenty of wheel speed. So much better feel uh, and snap than uh, a brushless rig, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, definitely... Uh, save some money uh, with just going. It's a fifteen dollar motor and transmission so, with HD gears. 
Come on, dude. Talking over myself. But, dude, like, that's a deal, that's bro. Good, dude. Budget, yes. Put some freaking, you know, we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll get the rest of it going, dude. We need some bearings. Nobody's getting a trick. Not while I'm filming, dude. You can do it every freaking time with nobody watching, bro. All right, so the trick, I keep talking right there. I'll have to film that, dude. Uh, you can catch the front tire and swing the rear end out, and no reverses right there, and it's such a sweet Close. maneuver. Close. I just could not pull it off on camera again, dude. Uh, so freaking hard again one of those things, you know, like oh, yeah, I got to do it easy and then you go pull the camera out. Nope Look at this monster dude All right, watch this coming up watch the steering link start the deflection uh. See that steering link push it over First time I really noticed that like just saw it like that. so good dude this thing is so freaking monstrous, bro. Great job, buddy. Maybe not the best for gates, but it's a freaking monster. So fun. So this is another one. He doesn't like this one. Belly, belly, belly. But that's why we put this crap in here. I get that I could practice, by the way, with brushless, and I would be, you know, like it more. But, uh, you know, it's like, why? I don't think we got the gate. I don't know why we went that way. Trying to avoid reverse. All right, so check out here. This is one where weight bias really That's is helpful in a belly. All righty. Having the wheel speed and being able to push it up over yeah, and so that the belly, the, the heavy part, is up over the ledge yeah, and then you just right. drag the back end up. Again, not one of these guys made this freaking turn. That was totally oh. my bad. Again, it could be done, dude, but uh, I don't know. It could have just been the setup of that last gate. I could have put it in a better place. I really wanted to put everything so that it was possible to flow, uh, but it's hard to keep everything on the range and go uh, on the obstacles that I went on uh, and keep the flow. So my bad, dude. How do you show off and keep it? It's hard. It's hard. I just want to show off everything like I did at 15 gates, bro. <laughs> Who does 15 gates? I did. Texoma RC. Bonus? No bonus, dude. Did you keep the points? No, we didn't even keep track. Didn't even keep track, dude. Who gives a crap? We ran the gates. <laughs> it was fun. Come on, Nano. Where you at? Freaking bam it. So much feel. So much you had to pay attention to like to that make that happen, in right? The freaking in the throttle. Oh, it doesn't just go up. I promise, dude. Have to pay attention. Are we gonna do the move? Are we gonna make it? Missed it. Dang it. Too much, dude. That sucks. Give me the reverse again, bro. Reverse again. One out of six. Hey, that ain't bad. Actually, that's pretty much terrible, buddy. <laughs> Even for baseball standards, batting averages. Look at this thing. Showing off, bro. Trying to make it stay up. Oh. Not slip off, dude. We were so close to slipping off. But now we're high on the rear end. We have to push it over and then back up. There we go. This... Did we get the pinch on this one? Yes, we got the pinch. <laughs> oh. And we cleaned the gate with a monster limousine ride, dude. So freaking good. Dude. Heck yeah, dude. So good. Talking over myself, celebrating. So freaking good. But that's also the difference how much heavier the front end is. I can push it up there more uh, without it flipping over. really really liking the forward weight bias so long as you can keep it low so long as you can keep the rear end from popping it may be Ooh, slower camera, dude Ooh, that was close I almost at that up at times you have to go slow but dude uh what it can do is freaking super duper cool uh, obviously when you have a better weight bias to the back you can go downhill a lot easier so you really have to be careful <clears throat> Let's see. I think this one has a cool trick up here. I bellied and tricked. I did a trick out, dude. So good. Let's see it. Let's see it, Yater. See, these are the things that you need to be able to do with a belly uh, is, is pay attention and where you can pivot it. Ah, let's go, dude. Missed yeah, I slipped it. down, but still, it was to do so tricks, freaking dope. Dude. Crap. Almost had it. Almost had it, dude. Just ripped it. a little too much, probably. Now we're screwed. Dang it. Two reverses. It didn't work out, dude. The trick. 
I just pulled just pulled the trigger too much again too much spice I think or maybe I should just play with the truck a lot more and then I'd be able to drive it just barely I haven't driven it very much probably hardly almost any uh, that wasn't on camera by the way just a few practice runs there we go. What a struggle, dude. What a fight. We got it. Monstrous. We're coming up on the end, dude. What a great video. I sure do appreciate you guys I hanging out with me. Today, dude. It's so freaking hard to run gates and do this crap. I sure do hope that you guys all have a great week, dude. Get out with, with buddies. Right, play down, around. Go down a little bit. There we go. Whoa. So gnarly backing up onto that, dude. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't seem like it from video, but it's gnarly. I promise. And this come off, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a monster, bro. All right, bro, so there you have it. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of Slayer action. It's too fun. I wouldn't say that any of these are the most perfect setup. These are all just how I've built them, got them running, and you know, Obviously, we could tune them more, but dude, I think they're all so fun. We have so much variety, dude. Look at the Slayers, man. So freaking fun. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace. Catch you in the next one.